How long have you been the, alive? Uh, house Charlie! I saw you were live a long time ago. Three hours. I, he's been live for longer than that, I think. Charlie. Charlie! We're going to do a little little round round. Hey, yeah, so, so they're, they're, I, I, they're I, I, essentially I, I, just getting very serious about... I mean, look. They're, they're so, I, yeah, so, they're you, so you nervous. And then, and then Charlie, I've, I've got to get... Have you seen... Charlie, have you had a chance to see this video yet? They're, not, they're not so the nervous. Thing, they no. just, they're just trying to avoid well, protests let's, let's outside. It. And I get it. But like, look, I mean, everybody is... I mean, every citizen, to my knowledge, has the right to be out on the breakers. street and on the sidewalk. And certainly outside a government facility, it is very bizarre to put up like basically chain link fences and put like, I don't know if the, it's on there, but put the, uh, what do they call it? The spikes across the top of it. The, uh, the uh, barbed wire. Barbed wire across the top of it. Razor yeah. wire. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason why we need razor wire. I there's think razor wire in front of, no, I don't know if there is, but I, I'm just like, I'm trying to reimagine as I'm reimagining this place in front of my head. Yeah. I, I'm thinking that he's, he's constructing the scene as a 3d object in his mind and <laughs> making our, I see I'm imagining it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just jumping in here. I'm jumping into the, the deep end of the pool. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, and trust me, the sheriff's department is way big enough in Maricopa County to handle any crowds that, that form outside of uh, a tabulation center in this case. It just, it just doesn't set the right... Wait, you want to have a line of cops guarding the tabulation center rather than just having a fence there? You want to spend more money and increase the likelihood of danger by having a line of cops rather than just putting up a fence? Right. right precedent, I think, for America as a whole but for, certainly for our state i'm, I'm looking on say, twitter right now there's there's like look, to treat it like a prison ben, facility look, look, how many people there's like a dozen <laughs> drive trucks in, in it right now and so yeah. so there's this more, is basically what's happening now guys Gitmo, right, this is what's happening now there is, is that, actually that's true that's jack, i wish there more jack, than i wish i used to have to, I have to show a cart those guys around to get jack so trucks are going in there now and so this is what's driving everyone crazy and this is where the conspiracy start up is that now they have barbed wire fences or whatever they've got around it. And every time a truck goes in, there's someone sees it and they go, fraud, China, like whatever. And it, that may not be the case, but like they're kind of setting the the yeah, the theme for it, right? Like with how they're like, and nobody's allowed in there other than like this very specific observer. So look, I, I understand how people are feeling. They're on edges. Every day that goes by, people get more they question more of the results and how they do business down there. And now when people are realizing now, like you have thousands of people realizing that it, they run it like basically like Guantanamo Bay, mm -hmm. you know, the, like that. The, okay. What, what on earth are we talking about right now? What, what? At these tabulation houses, it's just a building where they count votes. There's a, you can't just barge in there. It's not a public office. Trucks go in because trucks bring votes to be counted from other from, from polling stations. Has like Gitmo? I'm sure. What? What? Hold on. We're at um. We're at like one forty-eight through nine. What? What are they? I'm looking at the shit down here. What? Are, what is even happening? There's just, there's just a a fence there. What is happening? What are they complaining about? I'm looking right now on YouTube, like Maricopa County polling protest. Can I get, is there any filters la today? Streamed one day. I'm trying to, anything? On his largest county dropped more. And then, and understand. Of the first. Between five and eight people. Uh, is, is, am I, is this all just like a 3D object being rotated in the mind? Maybe. That makes people uncomfortable. I actually know because we were not allowed to arrest the journalists at Guantanamo when I was there. Uh, and unfortunately, from the Miami Herald, Carol Rosenberg, when she came in, um, whoever else wanted to come in, we had to give them, we had to wine and dine them. We had to give them full access to the to Crazy. the camps, full access to the detention facilities, uh, International Committee of the Red Cross is there every day, full and total access. And then they would go and print up whatever whatever rumor was running around the galley. They're like, oh, dude, I heard one of the Thank you, Annie. Here we go. Outside the Maricopa County Tabulation Center where ballots are being processed, horses and protests here about six protesters last week. What? Oh, this is from the uh, the eighth. It might not be what's happening right now. Also horse. Multiple horses. Um I don't I don't know. I have no idea. 
detainees was reading Fifty Shades of Grey. So, oh, a source reported to me, and it's, and it's like some kids sitting at you know eating chow at the defac, talking about um, you know oh I no heard worries, something I couldn't find anything. none of it was ever true or there was that story of like a, the, a, of course everyone was the Quran, the Quran in the toilet story which completely false completely false and yet they reported mm -hmm. it as if it was completely true. Charlie, I know you said you have an here we go from some MAGA account. Two hours ago, Maricopa County armed sheriffs to secure the perimeter fences and add barricades to the tabulation center. They also forbid pics of any kind to be taken. Uh, what? You can take pictures from outside the barricade. This in preparation for alleged voter fraud accusations slash protests. GWP 17K box three ballots remain. I wonder how large the um the crowd is outside. If I wait, if I if I look up like media Maricopa, Maricopa on Twitter media, can I get like? God damn. I, that is some highly inconsequential shit. I had a chance Hello, to actually see the video yet. Yes, but, we, but let's, let's, re, let's replay it. Let's, let's play the clip. Show me stuff. I don't know how long, how long is it's it? It's like six minutes. Oh, that's, that's a little too long. long. That's yeah. too long. But it's, it's, he's, he's, being car he's being carted out, Ben Burke Yeah, I mean, look. The nicest guy. We should if, clip like the last 90 seconds If you're of trying it. to create dissension, and if you're trying to create the appearance that something sketchy is going on, I mean, yeah, just drive reporters from your property. I mean, that's exactly what you do. That's right. I mean, if, if, if it doesn't exactly encourage transparency, what do they say? Because they said he was an election disinformation peddler or something. Right. Is that right? Yeah. Guys, you, 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 can't, you can't have photos or videos being taken of ballots being counted. They have people's names on them. An anonymous vote is one of the cornerstones of a democracy. You can't have people taking fucking pictures of ballots. They will have names next to them. They'll say who voted for who. There's a reason those are protected. Jeez. Well, and, and, and Jack already covered well, they, they the don't fact say that, that they were, call, they were calling were, were us disinformation that people. Yeah. By, oh, is that right? By, yeah. by, well, of course they by tweeting out that ballots were misprinted. Oh, NPR. <laughs> NPR is going after both of you guys right now. Oh, they are? Yeah. Who? My taxpayer dollars. Yeah, NPR Wait, going, NPR is going after me? They wrote up, yeah, they wrote up that report from the Election Integrity Partnership. So they, the Election Integrity Partnership put out that report that, that Tyler Boyer was spreading inter online misinformation about, <laughs> ah. the, about the ballots. And then they said, and Charlie Kirk amplified him. Um, it was a missing. It then, was literally my own ballot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, it was literally my. Own I, I tweeted. Right. And my Charlie ballot got mi misprinted. But, again, but see, this is this uh, is like what Charlie they call the you this misinformation. Is the, <laughs> this is the wrap up smear. Remember, this is the wrap up yeah. smear. Just like Nancy Pelosi taught us, the wrap up smear is you make the accusation, then you get the media to report your accusation, yes. and then you ask it's, them it's about the accusation. So, so let it's me. Lelinsky stuff. So, is it okay if I catch myself up to date while I catch the audience up to date with what's going on with tallies? Break it down, man. Yeah. I was just at an event with some of our top uh, Turning Point supporters. They're doing great, and they're enthused about what Action and PAC have done and asking a lot of questions and uh, about a lot of different things. Great folks there. So Good let me... So, so it seems that there have been a lot of Pima drops. Am I understanding this correctly? These were early votes. Is that right? Yeah, there's like... Nobody's count... No one wants to count what actually happened on Election Day yet. They just want to keep... You, you would think like we would just be able to move into election day ballots, but the state of Arizona but does not. Let want me to ask do that. you though, why is it though that it's not just Maricopa that has this problem then? Well, because part of your argument is that it's the size. Maricopa's too big, but well, Pima's big too, so that's that's the thing. Tucson's okay. big. Tucson's but, a big. I mean, city. even Yuma doesn't have all their votes in, or Mojave doesn't have all their votes in, or no, no, those those guys can get it together. Okay. Yeah, the smaller counties. Quick reminder: one of the guys in this panel, Pasobiec, is just a neo-Nazi. Yes, Pasobiec is a neo-Nazi. It's 1488 posting. The ADL National would be wise to remember what happened the last time people made lists of others. Out. He's literally like tweeting at like Jewish orgs, being like, "Hey, rem hey, remember the Holocaust?" Like, yeah. Jesus Christ, you look so young here. Know how to. Count votes. Yeah. So, so yeah. One of Charlie Kirk's friends was arrested for possession of CP. Oh, this is from a while back. Yeah, Trump Commerce officer arrested in November. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, from 2021. It's the big counties that can't handle county votes. <laughs> yes. So Yavapai just dropped 7,486 ballots. That's a really good sign, right? And mm -hmm. so, all right, this is boring. Move on. Mm -hmm. So basically, from Central Mesa and central Chandler East, 
they're already winning. They're mm -hmm. already winning. better discourse, Posobiec was speaking with a weird Russian accent on and off, as though it would win him favor with the crowd. That's so fucking weird. What? What? Be because, because like, Alliance, the fascists in the Kremlin? What? That's so weird. That's such a weird guy thing to do. Okay. Winning the Paradise Valley that are in there they're either not voting like several hours ago they could have changed it between no, 60 no 60 something about 60 60 Maybe that's, that's it. It. i don't no, know yeah they this is the difference between me and a serious political commentator like charlie kirk okay i do not have the patience to stare at a number slowly tick up or his own disciple yes and that just people don't like the way that looks no they don't like the way that looks at all dude my entire I inbox this, i can I say read this is a pro-trump guy I can read the waterfall of people saying, OMG, please tell Trump to stop bad-mouthing DeSantis. Yeah, there we go. It's dividing our movement and it makes him look petty. Clap, clap, clap emoji. As opposed to Trump's entire life before that point, which did not make Trump look petty. You know. It's exactly what rom demo rats want. Crying emoji. Trump 2024. This is your supporter but right do, here. Do you know what it is? It's like the parent that competes against their kid in high school. You know, it's, it's like hmm. it's like Friday Night Lights. Remember? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember <laughs> when uh, what's his face? His dad is there, and he like he's like, that's exactly Tim right. Yeah, 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 that's exactly <laughs> like, hold right. Hold on, why can't you hold on to the football? Tim McGraw. Why can't you hold on to the football? He's like, and he makes him hold on. He like yeah. slaps him, and he's like, he runs out to the field too. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. We're gonna get you, boy. We're gonna, I'm gonna make sure you hold that ball. He wraps it in duct tape. Yeah, embarrass me. You gonna get one of these rings? He throws his ring out of the car. He's like, you're nothing yet. He's like, you're nothing. Remember what I said? I said it. I said it. I'll say it again, okay? All of the political commentators, the Republican pundits right now, are making it their job to move their audiences over from Trump to DeSantis, you know? Now, keep in mind, the, the, very much like with us, only a small minority of Republicans are dedicated enough to go on YouTube and watch, like, Charlie Kirk live stream vote breakdown. This very much in the same way that the vast majority of liberals are just like very passive liberal, like they just like, oh, they they have a gay friend. They saw MSNBC once and they liked Obama and like whatever, like they don't they're not they're not out here watching like online like breakdowns and all this analysis there, you know. So I think that the Republican pundits are going to have their work cut out for them, moving over a significant enough portion of the Republican electorate that they aren't. Um, that, that, that Trump doesn't, you know, skew the, uh, the party. Well, I have to see. Because Donald Trump will never endorse somebody that he loses to. Ever. Can you guys even imagine that? Donald Trump losing to DeSantis in the primary and then endorsing DeSantis? He would treat his loss as like a giant betrayal. Before I came to power, the GOP was weak and full of losers and rhinos. And now they've stabbed me in the back. I think he's going to get two stab in the back narratives, yeah. They, that's, like yeah. Trump, that's like Trump. He's like, Ron. He's like throwing his, like, his, his like, uh, high school championship ring out the window. <laughs> Ron to sanctimonious. Someone just How said this. Tyler, this is, the, uh, this is the impact that this live stream has. This is my favorite email the whole evening. You ready for this? Uh -oh. It's great. He says, uh, love the show, guys. I own and operate a golf retail store near Atlanta. I'm about to remove all my pink. Oh, God. That's like absolutely Charlie Kirk viewer determinativism right there. Golf retail store owner. That's like this, I've, the most. Oh, my God product the back of the store courtesy of bill gates Keep up the good work. <laughs> hey, hey, i cannot i cannot and, i and cannot definitely a bill gates who is your customer who's gonna walk in one day and be like hey where's the pain products <laughs> and what's well, your guess name what? i can i what's cannot I, I cannot i cannot accentuate this enough if you own anything that's ping related email ping tomorrow and tell them <laughs> i refuse to golf with ping <laughs> until you get rid of bill gates and i'm telling you that right now. i don't even know what they're talking about it's just not funny what are they talking about sorry i'm uh i'm i'm queer oh, the only jokes uh, that i think are funny are through sex jokes what is this boomer shit what
I'm just kidding. I'm kind of just kidding. He's but I'm not really just kidding. Don't use pink products. Like, <laughs> no, just say you, you have a onesie, twosie. Just say no, that. Say, say, <laughs> say until, until, until you guys don't have any more onesie, twosies, then I'm not using ping. And I, and I don't blame you. There's a lot of other great uh, golf companies that we're, we know here in Arizona. It's like ping sucks. That's crazy. <laughs> they, they, they employ a crazy person. Poor Bill Gates. No, wait, poor Bill Gates wait, out there. Wait, which Bill Gates? Just the random dude who's trying to live okay, his life so, in so, Indiana. Someone, someone did email us. They said my cousin is named Bill Gates. So. Oh, oh, <laughs> that sucks. The random guy who's just That's not work, who just works at the Grain Belt in Indiana. Yeah. Maricopa incoming. <laughs> Battle stations ready. Okay. So, 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 let, so let's talk about what's the worst case scenario. Worst here. case scenario is a sub fifty drop. That's the worst case. Yeah, I mean, look, it's right? not going to be. Holy that. shit, they're boring. Sorry. I did the best I could. I did the best I could. I did. They're anxiety laughing. Oh, they're absolutely anxiety laughing. Yeah.